Um, so we aren't actually actively playing this. No. this uh, we took this footage last week when Capcom came by. Uh, Yoshinori no, Yoshino Ono and his posse came yeah, through. the man himself. Um, and we captured some footage of uh, some of it's us playing, some of it's uh, those guys playing, and, and we kind of walked through some of the different modes. Yep. One of the first things that jumped out at me about this game, uh, seeing this version of it, is how it says the name of the character every time you hover <laughs> over. Like, it's, it's it really weird. Excessive, I maybe. think it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, it does make the selection process a little chaotic. Yeah. So this is a bunch of characters from Street Fighter and a bunch of characters from Tekken and, also and then Cole, Cole <laughs> and uh, those two Sony cats. Yeah. Um, are the, are, so those are Sony specific things. Those cat the cats are. Yeah. Yeah. Sony. Uh, so those, Sony those the won't appear. Those will not, will not appear in the Xbox version. Uh, Xbox. There's no Xbox equivalent. Yeah, Xbox version getting the short end of the stick. Well, they need to open up the wallet, maybe. I guess. Uh, do some of these co-marketing deals. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe they would have some characters of their own show up in this stuff. But, um, So I've seen this game, I don't know, three or four times over the course of its development. Uh, and it's coming along. Like, seeing this version, it, it now looks like a full game. But I actually really liked it right out of the box. <laughs> right. Um... Which when was, it, when it like didn't a, have like a year and a half yeah, ago or something, yeah, something right? like that. So, um, it's all in the mind. Wait, what? It's all in the line. Oh, it's on the line. Okay, I thought it said, oh, it's all in the mind. I was like, it's Parappa going to jump down? Like, what the <laughs> There hell? are a lot of kicks and punches yeah. going on here. Uh, but the first time they showed it off, it had, like, you know, four characters in it. It didn't have most of the systems in place and stuff. Uh, this kind of combo series that, that right there that lead I oh, don't know I mean that's not it but there's a combo that leads to a tag that's that, the one that right there it's called that, the cross rush yeah that was not in uh, but it, so it mostly just played like a version of Street Fighter 4 that someone had turned on like ah just if the if the, the hit connects then it hits right like just let it juggle uh like, hearing you talk about it back then made it sound like it was kind of exploitable. It, it definitely Maybe. seemed like, you know, I, I mean, obviously, you know, they, they hadn't really been thinking about balance or any of that sort of stuff. It was it was just a matter of, like, getting some of the, you know, it, it was a game that was very much in development. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, some of the juggles seemed like they were going a little far. It seems like they have figured out uh, how to rein some of that in, but it still feels pretty different than Street Fighter 4 and it's still like to me like back then it felt like uh, you would put in like a SNES copy of uh, Street Fighter 2 into a game genie and just turn on <laughs> you know just like whatever ridiculous like all right you can do this in the air and then these hits hit in the air right. and go from there um, now you know there's there's a little more uh, logic and stuff to the, to the way it behaves right this is me and you playing right now Okay. I don't know if you remember the heady days of last week. But, uh, uh, I barely remember yesterday at this point. Yeah. So it was like kind of a lost weekend. This, so. is, uh, this is me totally not remembering how to play martial law at all. Well, it's one of the things that, you know, I mean, the, the Tekken characters have some of the things that they always had, and, and, and a lot of changes have been made. They right. Don't, they don't have the 10 string combos. Right. But some of the um, some of the combos, like yeah, uh, some of the combos, specifically yeah. the, the the Kazuya and Heihachi, like, like one, one I don't even, two, yeah, like yeah. The, the square square triangle combo yeah. that's in there. And they've uh, so they've made the light and medium punching. I mean, it's, it's a six button game. Uh, they've made the light and medium buttons for the Tekken characters behave similarly to to, uh, the, the four. to those four buttons yeah. from Tekken. Um, so you can kind of get some of those combos off that way. But the, the special moves are more Street Fighter style, right? They are, yeah. But you know, that's you know, Tekken certainly had you know dragon punch motion yeah, sort yeah, of true. stuff. But there were a lot of like like hit two buttons at the same time to do to right. moves and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so like with I mean, with Law, you would hit both kicks and you would yeah. do that. Flip. I I just now remembered that. I wish I had remembered that yeah. while we were playing this match. Right. There's a throw. Um, so you know, you see wall bounces. It has EX moves like Street Fighter Four, where you, you know you do the special move with two buttons, and you'll use some meter to do that. Right. And uh, you'll see some of those EX moves cause wall bounces, uh, which then you know you can you could theoretically tag cancel out of some of that stuff and, and keep a combo going that way, or you know, it's, it seems like a game that has options. Yeah. Uh, 
Although that, that cross rush, that, I mean, it's, what is it? It's light, medium, two heavies? Yeah, light, medium, heavy, heavy. Like, every character has that. Yeah. And it's pretty easy and to pull And it ends with a tag. But it also is, like, if, if, if it's super easy, but, like, I keep, I keep pulling it off by mistake. Like that? Because I'm that just, it? like, mashing, I yeah. That was it, yeah. Like, that was me doing that, and, like, I'm not good at fighting games. Or not very good. And yet, you know, it's it pretty easy to pull that off. Uh, as long there's, as another, there's another bit there. You can charge up your... One, each character has one move that is chargeable. Um, so in that case, you would uh, hold down the button, basically, when you do right. the move, and, and Guile will start to charge. Uh, as soon as you get the lightning bolt, that's a level 2 version of the move. Um, and then if you hold it down, it eventually uh, goes into the super, and it doesn't burn any, any meter at all if you do oh, a charged I super. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, but you can also just do supers using two bars of your, your meter. And I guess there's a tag super also that... that that you can do. Um, so you see Cole is glowing right now. Uh, that is the gem system in effect. And I think the gem system seems kind of cool. I, so yeah, there you see Guile charging up a sonic boom. Yeah. Yeah, it so. seems like it's it's usually the projectile if the character has a projectile. Right. That, that gets the charge. Uh, um, yeah, I think I think the gym system sounds neat. Like, the, I don't know that the tournament crowd is sold on it necessarily. Uh, they're not. Um... But it's it's an interesting and doesn't seem like it's anything you know. There's, it doesn't look like there's going to be any one gem that's just like this is the magic gem that makes you win. Yeah. Uh, because they all have specific uh, requirements before they will proc. Right. Um, so it'd be stuff like if you 